I've been looking at water issues for about four years now. Um, on and off, um, every time that I got sent to a place where um, something connected to water was possible, I tended to take a day or two, or if I was lucky, a week, um, and go and look at what was going on with that. Um, the reason I got into looking at water issues in the first place was because um, I was covering conflict, mostly African conflict at the time, and um, I was just noticing that, that there were far more deaths coming out of a basic lack of, uh, of resources, you know, things that you and I would take for granted, um, food and water namely, and that was killing more, many more people than anything connected to actual fighting. Well, I spent most of my time in the third world, and um, I'm not a, necessarily a, a flag-waving cozy, you know, I'm not someone who goes out there and makes a big noise about, um, well, we've got to do this, we've got to make the world a better place. Um, but I'm fearful of what I'm seeing here. Um, I, I think we're, we're looking at a finite scenario. I think that sooner or later, what happens in the third world affects the first. And um, I think that our leaders have not focused enough on, on water issues at this point. I think that we've been um, living in a fool's paradise in terms of thinking uh, that, some, that our resources will go on forever. They won't. You know, as a uh, photojournalist, you, uh, you have this dilemma. Um, you're driven by the news. Um, uh, it doesn't work the other way around for the most part. You don't drive the news. Events happen and you get pushed towards them. And you get pushed towards them by market pressure to a large extent. You get pushed towards them because an editor out there um, for a significant publication or television station, etc., says, go and cover that. Um, and what ends up happening with that is that you get caught up in a 24-hour news cycle. And so it becomes very important to feed that machine as opposed to step back from that machine and really look at what matters out there. So we as journalists, we spend a great deal of time focusing on issues um, which are important, but which may not be um, the biggest issue of the day. And right now, our biggest issue as a as a, the human race is, is diminishing resources and how that's affecting our planet, um, how that's creating certain political situations, how that's creating uh, the partitioning of sides, how that's creating conflict. I think that uh, as a media we have a responsibility to report more succinctly on this, more um, in a more educated fashion. Um, and we need to realize that uh, it's important to step away from this 24-hour news cycle sometimes and really focus on, um, look man, this is what's happening out there from a bigger picture perspective. Just for once, I'd really like to be able to, to you know, say to some mother or some father in the third world who just lost their child through some ridiculous lack of resource, um, some ridiculous lack of medicine, or from the point of water, because they, they weren't able to yeah, give their children clean water to drink on a regular basis so um, their immune systems were so twisted and torn that uh, they couldn't survive. No, I'd just like to be able to say to um, those parents that there really is a plan out there and that things will change and they will change within your lifetime, within your generation.